odor of corruption. In any city, in any country, go to any sizable school or university you can find. After locating the front desk, walk up to it and ask to see the one who calls himself the holder of corruption. The attendant behind the desk will look down, then begin to scream. Close your eyes tight. You won't want to see what they are doing. When the screaming stops, open your eyes. You should be in a small, dark room with wooden walls. There will be a solid-looking door of copper and wood behind you. Walk up to the door, knock twice, and open it. You will be standing in the place you call home, but horribly distorted. You will recognize it, but it will be difficult to find your way. Everything will be decayed and rotting. Insects, rats, and all kinds of horrible things wander the house. The house will be buried deep underground. Dirt blocks the windows, making it pitch black. You had better have brought a light. If not, the walls won't exist, and you'll wonder for the rest of your existence, in the darkness, unable to die, or to feel weariness. If you did bring a light, however, you are in luck. Quickly find your way to your parents' room, or, if you don't live with them any more, to your own room. On the bed will be a twisted visage of both of your parents in one body. They will be naked and smeared in horrible substances, filth, feces, blood, vomit, everything possible. They will be horribly gibbering your name. You cannot react to this at all. If you do, you will join them as one, and your mind and body will break slowly over thousands of years. You will know only torment, and the torment of all others to ever die. Instead, resolutely stare them in the eyes and ask them, Why did this come to pass? At this point, they will split into two separate bodies, and tell you from beginning to end, then from end to beginning at the same time, why it came to pass. It will be a horrifying tale, because it will seem it is your fault these things happened. You will most likely go mad from guilt. If you do not, however, the two bodies will produce an hourglass and place it on the floor. Thank them and gently pick it up with both hands. You will wake up in the place you call home, laying on the floor in the most windowed room. It will be 3.32 in the morning. No light will come from the windows till the morning comes. The hourglass is object 83 or 538. When the sands of one end run empty, then it will begin. This must never happen.